Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. President, the court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today, the chamber will hear the key document presentation by the defense teams in reference to Tram Co Cooperative and Krang Tatian Security Center. Ms. Chi Siu Huang, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present, except Mr. Sonarun, the National Co-Counsel for Nunchir, is absent for health reasons. Mr. Nunchi is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his rights to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffier. Thank you. President, thank you. The Chamber now decides on the request by Nun Chir. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nun Chir, dated 28 April 2015, which states that due to his health, there is headache, back pain, and he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to have his right to participate in and be present at the 28 April 2015 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequence of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nun Chi by the duty doctor for the accused ECCC dated 28 April 2015, who notes that Nun Chi has a chronic back pain and feels dizziness when he sits for long, and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 for the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nuchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via an audiovisual means. The AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that he can follow the proceedings. That applies for the whole day. And the chamber would like to hand the floor now to the defense team for a new chair for the key document presentation in relation to Trump Co Cooperative and Krang Tachan Security Center. Council, do you have the floor? Um, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Um, Mr. President, my presentation today is uh, divided into three parts. Uh, the first concerns documents relating to Krang Ta Chan. Uh, the second deals with living and working conditions in Tram Kok, while the third part relates to the treatment of targeted groups. Uh, this morning I will present a total of 30 documents, which is a little less uh, than the list we initially circulated as we have now removed uh, some documents. Let me first turn to the documents that relate to Krang, Krang Ta Chan. There are 138 documents on the case file listed in an OCP annex called uh, the Trump Kok District Records. 
These documents are allegedly contemporaneous documents relating to activities within Tramcock district during the DK period. Um, by now, it is clear that these documents are by far the prosecution's core evidence for this trial segment. Um, however, only three of these 138 documents have a located original, and even these originals are not on our case file. The other documents are simply copies, and the whereabouts of their originals are unknown. Um, this makes it impossible, for example, to, to verify uh, Peck Chim's recent claim that all executions would have been annotated on documents in red ink. Uh, nor can we examine the nature of several documents with a single E3 uh, number, but which appear to have been compilations of various separate documents, uh, including correspondence back and forth. In a court of law, uh, this is highly problematic, especially in the light of the possibility, which I will discuss a little later, that certain documents may have been uh, forgeries intended to craft a very particular narrative of alleged events at Grand Tachan. And it is with these concerns in mind that we will soon be filing an official request for investigation into a selection of the so-called Tramcock district records. Now, Mr. President, the first document I wish to present is a document which provides information about the provenance uh, of these so-called Tramcock districts. This document is E3-188. It is a written record of interview of Yuk Chang Director of uh, Documentation Center of Cambodia, and it is dated 2 April 2009. The relevant ERN, ERN numbers in English are 00342, 450 until 5, Khmer 00334755 until 61, and French 00485435 until 40. In this document, uh, Yuk Chang provides further information and identifies uh, important sources regarding the provenance of the Tramcock district records and their chain of custody. Um, he notes that the documents were found at different times and are from different sources. Um, he explains that the original documents related to Krang Tachan were lost, but that it is uh, unclear how they were lost, when uh, and also where this loss occurred. <coughs> However, uh, he does explain that Mr. Sao Pirin, the current Secretary of State, in the Council of Ministers, uh, who we have requested to call as an additional witness in this trial segment, allegedly, allegedly received the documents uh, from the district front and gave them uh, to none other than uh, Ben Kienen. According to Yuk Chang, Kienen said he returned the documents uh, and that they are in tool slang, which they uh, in fact are not. Um, Sao Pirin, on the other hand, according to Yuk Chang, says Kienen did not return uh, the originals. <coughs> Yuk Chang also provides information concerning the so-called Tramcock district uh, uh, record sources. Uh, so, for instance, he states in his um, in his statement that Prime Minister Hun Sen is a source for documents numbered as D documents in the DC Chem numbering system. Uh, Yuk Chang also says that other sources are from uh, Takeo province. 
um, and that some documents were taken from the office of the district front, but it is unclear uh, where the district front received the documents from. He also says that the district front supposedly collected the documents from the village and commune levels, but it did not take the original uh, documents from the Kachan itself. President. President. The international deputy co-prosecutor, co you have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I'd, I'd request that Council, when he's making these references, as I did, point to the specific year ends. Um, he's characterizing the evidence rather than pointing to it. One of the things he just said is, is exactly the opposite of what is said in the interview that he's relying on. Uh, in order for there to be any reliability of this process, he needs to be citing where he's getting this from so that he's not characterizing or mischaracterizing the evidence. Uh, I, I can do that, Mr. President. I just uh, thought it would get rather tedious if I um, number every reference, but if, if you require so, I will do it. Um, would you like to, me to get back to all the references or, or shall I just go on from now? Yeah, otherwise it's getting really boring. Um, so let me uh, revisit the... Uh, President, uh, Council, Maître. please uh, make sure that Devise, you refer to the uh, proper documents and the uh, related uh, year and uh, numbers so that uh, concerned parties can follow your uh, pre presentation. Thank you. Je vous I will do so, Mr. President. Let me... Um, start and Je if that ferai. is all right with you with the second part of si um, this uh, document um, where Yu Chang provides information concerning the so-called Tromcock District Yuk Record, uh, record Sources. So first, um, I just said that already, but I will repeat it. Prime Minister Hun Sen, uh, so he says, is a source for documents numbered as D documents in the DCCAM numbering system. That is English 00342, 452, Khmer 0033-47457, French 0048-437. He also says that other sources are from Takiyo province, that is English 00342455, Khmer 00334-47460, and French 00485-437. He also states that some documents were taken from the office of the district front, but it is unclear where the district front received the documents from. English 00342-454, and French 00485-439. The district front supposedly collected the documents from the village and commune levels, um, so he says, but it did not take the original documents from Krang Tachan itself. And finally, um, a relevant excerpt from Yuk Chang's statement. Um, in addition, when searching through S21 again, some documents were found under a wooden cabinet, English ERN 00342-543, Khmer 00334-7458, and French 00485-438. And a number of other relevant documents, meanwhile, uh, were found later, uh, but given numbers in the relevant DCCAM sequence. That is English 00342452, Khmer 00334457, and French 00485437. Um, that concludes the first document voilà um, I am presenting to you uh, this morning, Mr. President. Matin, le um, 
Um, now, if we even set aside uh, concerns about the heavy reliance on si the Trump Cop district records and consider them uh, for their content. Um, not all of these documents paint the universally brutal picture of the regime that the prosecution would have you believe. I will now present a number of documents, uh, some of which the prosecution has already presented, uh, that present an alternative view of at least some of the events relating to Grand Tachan. Uh, we have divided these documents into five uh, categories. The first category um, are documents illustrating that multiple attempts uh, were made to re-educate people. Um, so these documents indicate that multiple attempts were made to re-educate people into changing uh, their behavior at the commune level before matters were escalated, if that happened at all. I would like to present four illustrative examples. Mr. President, the first document shows that law and all officials and soldiers were among those uh, who might be re-educated multiple times. Document E3-4092, also uh, presented yesterday by the prosecution. It's a document entitled Notebook of KTC Interrogator and contains uh, confessions of 107 persons including women, men, youth and Lonol soldiers. The English ERNs are that I'm referring to are 00834826828, Khmer 00271162 and French 00721306. Um, this document lists several incidents of people uh, being re-educated on multiple occasions at the commune level. It also illustrates how sending people to a re-education centre did not uh, mean certain death, but implies that people could in fact return from the education centres to the communes. Uh, specifically, um, this document E3-4092 describes at least two people who were re-educated and who were former Lonol soldiers. Um, number one, um, that is English 0083-4827, command 00271162-63, and 00721306 in French, relates to a warrant officer called Poc Bunli. Um, Poc Bunli was, um, uh, was in Ang Tassom commune, committed thefts uh, very often, I quote, uh, which is why, uh, again quote, the cooperative re representative arrested and sent him to the re-education camp many times. Um, Kung Vet, uh, a Lonol corporal who was also living in Ang Tassom commune, um, was apparently, I quote, uh, a major thief who, I quote again, uh, stole potatoes five times, coconuts three times, and corns twice, and one, uh, and who the cooperative representative educated on several occasions, but, I quote again, who resisted stubbornly, that is, e, uh, English ERN 00834828, Khmer 00271164 and French 00721307-08. The next document, Mr. President, uh, shows that um, also new people um, might be re-educated more than once. E3-4101. Uh, that is a report from Krang Tachan uh, to the district office dated 7 March 1977 and signed by An. 
uh, on English ERN 00322124, Khmer 00271034, and French uh, 00854216. Uh, we can see that this report describes uh, Kim Vani, a new person um, assigned to a youth assembly unit in Sre Renung commune, who apparently, and I quote, really stole very often, such as coconuts, cassava roots, and climbing up the palm trees at night to steal the palm juice of the cooperative for drinking, etc. And it says that the chief of the unit has educated him several times, but he still continued to commit, to commit the thefts. Uh, yet another document, Mr. President, shows how at least five people, including Lonol officials and, so, uh, uh, and soldiers, new people and frequent thieves, faced multiple rounds of re-education to correct their behavior. I refer you to, uh, that's the next document, E3-2424, that is a compilation of reports uh, between sub-districts office uh, this district and Krang Tachan, which appears to date from 1978. Um, the English ERNs are 00322217, ending in 2022 and 25. Khmer ERN 00270755, and ERNs ending in 59. 62, 63, and 75, and the French ERN 00612215, and ERNs ending in 21 and 23 till 24. Now this document, this report, E3-2424, describes uh, the re-education history of several people. Um, and for instance, on 18 August, uh, 1978 report from Cheng uh, of Angtasom commune uh, to a quote respected comrade elder brother police of district 105 uh, describes Kong Vaet, a former military person of unknown rank who and I quote was such a great stealer unquote he Quote, had been educated so far by the group, unit, and by the collective meetings for the past three years, period, end of quote. And after this apparently failed, he was, um, and I quote, individually educated by a hot measure, that is English ERN 0032220. Khmer 00270755 and French 00612219. In the same document, uh, we can see an 8 July letter from Bin and Yat from an unknown location to the, I quote, beloved base party and concerned Ni, a surgical doctor from Phnom Penh who reportedly, and I quote, committed cheap deeds of theft several times so far and who officials had, quote again, educated several times but nevertheless, quote, still abuses the party guidelines. That is 0032222, Khmer 00270759, and French 00612219. In this E3-2424, there's another document, uh, the date, author, and recipient unknown, uh, which details two information um, about two pieces of information about uh, two further people living in Angtasom. First, uh, somebody called Pok Bun Li, a 27-year-old new person of Vietnamese heritage, uh, who, and I quote, uh, had a lot of disputes including stealing, for which he was educated very often, until he was brought for education in the commune militia office once already. 
Uh, however, the report complained, and I quote, though he had been educated, he still repeated his same activities. English, era N003-22225, Khmer 002-70763, and French 0061223 and 0061224. Uh, Om Chanta was, and I quote, Om serving Chanta in the enemy's forces when living in the enemy's area, and, I quote, has stolen and incited to fight the revolution, unquote. It's uh, noted in this document that, and I quote, our party has decided to bring him to the commune militia office for education once already. But, and I quote, during the education, this youth fled from the office twice. Later, the party decided to bring him back to the youth office. End of quote, and a new quote, though he has been educated very often, every day he continues to steal. English 003-22225, Khmer 002-70762, and French 0061-22223. And finally, uh, enfin, Mr. President, Monsieur in this uh, document E3-2424, a document from uh, Chun um, at Tram Kok, dated 27 July 1978, and addressed to, and I quote, lovely comrade elder brother district police. Uh, which described uh, Suun P, a 25-year-old from District 109 in Takiu, who was, and I quote, good at stealing things which belong to the collective, unquote, and who officials, quote, try to educate in whatever manner, end of quote. English era N0032217, Khmer 0027075, and French 0061215. The next document, uh, Mr. President, Your Honours, is E3-2048. This is a document also presented yesterday by the prosecution. It is a report to Anne uh, by an unknown author dated March 4, year unknown, and it mentions uh, the sub-district militia bringing in those who held officer ranks and who have been re-educated before. English ERN 0027566, Khmer 0007904, and French 0061163. This report uh, E3 slash 2048 mentions Kionet and Churung, uh, who both held officer ranks. Kionet, um, and I quote, incited Churung to run off, and he has stolen the belongings of the people constantly, never fearful, end of quote. In the reports, author then complained that, and I quote, the base has re-educated them to the utmost of its capabilities, end of quote. Um, a fourth and final document, Mr. President, also is yet, uh, we believe, another example of multiple attempts to re-educate people who mostly appear to be frequently stealing from or damaging communal supplies. It is document E3-2107, uh, also presented yesterday by the prosecution. It's a Krangtachan notebook, English ERN 00290205, uh, 22.45-6 and 56, Khmer 0068, Sorry, 0, 0, 0, 6, 8, 0, 5, 0, uh, 60, 75, 74, 80, and 81, and French 0, 0, 6, 5, 5, 7, 2, 6, uh, 39, 60 to 61, 68, and 69. Now, in this document, E3 slash 2107, um, we can read that Chu Sylvan, a former monk living in various locations, including Kus sub-district, uh, stole 
and I caught palm sugar water de, de and coconuts and gems frequently um, to the point that Ankar has re-educated uh, and built him time after time. English 002 and French 0065526. We can also read about a man called Kang Sun, who I quote, killed cooperative cows with a hatchet, unquote, and yet, I quote, Ankar re-educated him each time, unquote. The same person allegedly did not clean rice, and also, um, I quote, two or three times he killed chickens and ate them. English 00290-222-006-8060 and French 00655739. It also relates a man uh, named Kraupa, uh, a district militiaman uh, who allegedly raped a girl. He, and I quote, fought with our army very frequently at Tixam and uh, committed a violation about eating for which the, re, uh, the unit chairman, and I quote, re-educated him often. After this, he had yet another unspecified conflict after which the chairman, um, and I quote, re-educated him until nine before releasing him, unquote. That is English 00290245 until six, Khmer 00068074, and French 00655760 until 6-1. Chia Sopal, who joined the military in 1973, was a member of the Kus sub-district youth unit and was described as, and I quote, the thief of thieves. The report detailed how, and I quote, the unit representative has re-educated him over and over, but it has not worked, unquote. 00290256 in English, Khmer 0006080 uh, and French 00655768. Finally, Mr. President, um, Nigal Kia uh, from Chiang Tong Subdistrict was described as having stolen manioc. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, sugar dumplings, rice. Uh, and having a conflict with the cook and throwing things at the cook's roof. And it says, while, and I quote, Ankar has frequently, frequently re-educated him about this behavior, uh, the report complained that, and I quote, he kept on stealing like this. 00290-256 and Khmer 00068081 and French 00655769. <coughs> Mr. President, I will now move on to another category of documents offering uh, some insight into Krang uh, Tachan. These documents are those which showed officials behaving cautiously with respect to the treatment of troubling people by sending detailed reports of behavior and requesting instructions to be issued by those senior to him, to them. Uh, I would like to start with um, a document also presented yesterday by the, by the prosecution, E3-2453. This document is a compilation of reports within Tramcock district, including four uh, particularly relevant reports. English ERNs 00388577 and 86, Khmer 00270773, 77, 82 and 84, and French 00611769, 71, 74 and 75. Um, the first report is dated 13 October 1977 and written by Kuhn from uh, Srey Renung to the party. Uh, it details the actions of Han, a widow in Srey Renung sub-district, who is uh, a major thief, unquote, 
grande voleuse uh, could request um, could the party's decision about the above report and it's English 0038858 excuse me 0038858 Khmer 0027077 and French 0061171. Uh, another report uh, from Ang Tasson to the Trump Court District details information on two persons and requests, requests to know, and I quote, whatever Ankar decides. Uh, English 0038858577, Khmer 0027077373, and French 0061176969. Uh, a third report Troisième within rapport, this uh, document E3-2453 is uh, from me e in Nang Nang Commune, the district party. Uh, and this uh, report ends Nian, with, and I quote, may the party be informed and request that whatever decision the party makes be sent for information. English 0038584, Khmer 0027072. French 0067 And finally, uh, enfin, Mr. President, a fourth report Monsieur also from Min of Nyang Nyang Commune uh, that concerns four people named Luo, Suos, uh, Yun, Yun, and Bang, et Bang. Uh, who want to, I quote, smash the revolution. Qui unquote. La revolution. Uh, this report ends with also, um, uh, quote, may the party be informed about the four of them and please provide us information on whatever the party decides, unquote. Uh, English ERN 00388584, excuse me, 00388586, Khmer 00207074, and French 00611775. Uh, the next document, um, we use that again, that document is uh, suivant, earlier mentioned E3 slash 2048. Uh, also, this document appears to be a compilation of documents, uh, two of which we believe are particularly relevant here. Uh, English ERN 0027655562. Uh, and ERN ending in 6-4, Khmer 00079087 uh, ending in 9-1, and French 00611658 ending in 6-1. Um, in this document E3-2048, um, the first is a note uh, dated 3 April 1977 from Pan of Popel Commune, and it requests, and I quote, Ankar passed judgment, unquote, regarding certain new people, including, and I quote, whether to have us send them in or what, end of quote. Uh, that is English 00276562, Khmer 00079087888, and French 00611658. In another document, um, Mr. President, in the same compilation is a note from TAPEM, Sub-District Cooperative Secretary Kit, to Ankar, and it details uh, six soldiers, all first or second lieutenant, who, and I quote, have personally carried out activities every single day, unquote, and it concludes this report that, uh, I quote, whatever Ankara's decision, request opinion and instructions, English ERN 00276564, Khmer 00079091, and French 00611661. I'd like to move on to uh, the next document, that is E3-4105. This report is apparently from Tramcock Commune Militia, and is addressed to Ankar uh, of the district and dated 19 April 1977. English ERN 0032135, Mer 0027093, and French 0085621212.
And this report requests further instructions from District 105, de, de uh, Ankar, after arrest of a member of the commune, and says as follows, and I quote, uh, we beg to ask the Ankar of the district that where should this person be sent to or how to solve it. Please give opinion on it, end of quote. I now move on to uh, yet another uh, category Je within these documents, Mr. President, uh, that's the, the use of uh, so-called hot methods uh, in inter in interrogation. Um, also, contrasting with the prosecution's picture of events at Grand Tachan are a number of documents which apparently indicate that uh, hot methods of inter interrogation were not always used um, and indeed sometimes appear to be used only very rarely. Uh, the first is a document which has been mentioned at length by the prosecution yesterday, E3-4095. Um, it's an interrogator's notebook with the, I will come back to that, very interesting heading called um, Fifth Confession and Contemptible Traitors, Paul Pot and Nisari. English ERN 0074. Uh, 7287 and in 79. Mr. President, this notebook is a uh, lengthy document containing information regarding the interrogation of approximately uh, 105 different prisoners at Grand Tachan including a large number of Lono soldiers, as the prosecution detailed yesterday. Uh, however, throughout all these citations, uh, hot methods are only mentioned as being used on two of these people. Concerning the person Yang Kang, the report indicates, indicates that, and I quote, this person was interrogated with some of, uh, unquote, quote, hot methods to dig up his network, but he refused to confess, end of quote. That is English uh, ERN 0074-7287, Khmer 0027-1124, and French 0072-1252. Um, and concerning the person, uh, Tak the report says that he was beaten during the integration, presumably a typo intended to say uh, interrogation, but he did not confess. Um, I have the English ERN 0074, 7279. Um, for some reason, right now, I cannot produce the Khmer ERN, but I can now. Um, ah, si. That is 00271118. It has a note that I should slow down. Um, I will. And French uh, 0072 um, A second document, Mr. President. Uh, we believe demonstrates the same phenomenon. It is E3-4092. Uh, uh, As mentioned earlier, uh, this Krang Tachan interrogator's notebook contains confessions of 107 persons, uh, including women, men, youth, and uh, long-known soldiers. The English ERN 0034795, ERNs ending 05, 16, and 22. Uh, Khmer 0027-1135, ending 46-55 and 59, and French 0072-1276, ending 87-96 and 302. Uh, Mr. President, like with the document um, discussed before, all of the 107 persons detailed in these documents, there seem to be only four occasions uh, on which the persons were subjected to, and I quote, uh, intense er interrogation, unquote. I should note the 
French version interrogates interrogation in uh, four different ways without using the word uh, intense. So there seems to be a bit difference in uh, translation between the French and the English, but only in four occasions of the 107 uh, persons who were detained, uh, apparently uh, hot methods were used. Um, Mr. President, we will revisit uh, these documents um, most likely during, during our objections uh, later this week. But for now, let me just note that um, considering that both uh, notebooks specifically uh, seem to indicate uh, where hot methods were used, um, suggest that they would, were not standard practice. Um, otherwise, why would they be indicated at all uh, is the question. Moreover, regarding the first notebook, uh, E3-4095, as the prosecution mentioned yesterday, some of the persons listed included the family of trial witness Mia Sokka, and they include, for instance, Mia Sokka's mother, Hun Kim Seng, and his sister, Mia Sarat, both of whom we have recently requested to appear as witnesses. Now, as we know, uh, these people are still alive today, um, so unless the prosecution can produce evidence to the contrary, it is very possible that several people, in, uh, many people, uh, in fact, in the notebook may have survived. And this goes to a broader issue of course, which is how often large, uh, executions at Krang Tachan occurred at all. President, the international deputy co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Um, thank you, Mr. President. I just want to make um, one objection here. Obviously, counsel was allowed to address and present these documents and explain their importance. Crossing into the, the um, realm of making a closing argument where we start to uh, argue about what witnesses have testified, uh, I think is something we avoided. Um, uh, I could stand up and respond that we've had testimony from the guards who said that everyone, with a few exceptions, was killed. So I think this is not the time for counsel to start making conclusions. He has no basis uh, to say that, the, that any time, every time torture was used, it would be documented. That's an argument from him. He has no basis to say there are other people in this book who were released. So I think we need to confine ourselves here uh, to presenting the documents and not uh, make arguments because uh, obviously if he's going to make arguments about witness testimony, I feel uh, an obligation to respond and I don't think we're at that point yet. President, I'd like to hand the floor to Judge Rodney Franz.
to respond uh, to the objection Thank you. Well, the prosecutor has pointed to something which has obviously always been a fine line in this kind of hearings. We have had the same issue again and again. Um, obviously, drawing the line between presenting a document and commenting on it in a context is, as I said, fine. Uh, Council, we just wish to remind you this is not a closing speech. It's very obviously. So perhaps you could concentrate on what could really be seen as a presentation of documents as opposed to of an evaluation at this point in time. Um, I, will, I will do my very best. Uh, Judge Fence, but sometimes I need to explain in one sentence or two sentences why I'm doing this, but um, I'll, I'll try to avoid um, closing submissions type arguments. Um, Mr. President, I would now, now like to move to um, documents um, which might illustrate a different use of the word smash. Um, these documents included in, including the so-called Trump-Cock district, which indicated that the word uh, smash or contact uh, has a variable meaning and cannot simply, cannot always simply be equated to execution. For example, um, document E3-2053, um, this is an undated report to the party written by Tom of Trapian Tom South Cooperative, and it sums up uh, the confessions of two individuals. English ERN 0027-6578, Khmer 0007-91-22, French 0003-34996. Uh, the report relates to people named Okpat and C and identifies their network and the plans they had. Significantly, it says that the two people, and I quote, had a five-year plan to ensure the smashing of the cooperatives, unquote, either in five years, seven years, or otherwise, um, and I quote again, as necessary to wear down the cooperatives and to absolutely oppose communal eating, unquote. In addition, the report says that Ukpat and C had, and I quote, plans to contact the UN and Thailand, Thailand and use the weapons to smash the revolution, um, E3-2453, this is um, the relevant report is dated 18 October from Mean of Ningang to the district based area party, English ERN 003 um, 88586. Khmer 0027084 and French 00611775. Uh, the report in question identifies a network of four persons, Luang Tri, Suos T, Yun Yang, and Bang Nan, with the author Yun concluding that, and I quote, Bang my Nan. analysis is that they have plans to smash our revolution, Document E3-4092, presented yesterday also by the prosecution, um, and mentioned earlier, this is a Krang Tachan interrogator's notebook containing confessions of 107 persons, English ERN 0083481818, Khmer 0027115526, and French 0072130404. At this point, I draw your attention to a note which details the actions of Pan Nun, who, when I quote, organized a meeting to create plots with his clique of four people, end of quote, um, in order, quote, to smash and destroy the cooperative. That is on English ERN 0083481728, 0023-4. And French 
Um, Mr. President, the last category of documents I am Monsieur presenting le Président, this morning, which arguably provide insight into events at Grand Tajan, are two documents um, which relate to uh, S21 specifically, which we suggest to be relevant to other security centers in the DK. Uh, the pair of documents in this category uh, discuss the apparently low known fact that some prisoners, chose qui quite, quite a substantial connu, number actually, uh, were released from S21, uh, contrary to the popular misconception that only seven people survived S21. I'm referring to uh, E3 slash 7326 is a fact sheet published by DC Chem called, and I quote, Paul Pot and his prisoners at Secret Prison S21, an overview on the release of prisoners of S21, English ERN 0100 to 075-85, uh, there's no Khmer translation available yet, Mr. President, and also no French translation available. Now, in this document, DC CAM provides details of several, several different categories of prisoners who were actually released from S21, such as children and Khmer Rouge cadres. The fact sheet gives a long list of prisoners who DC CAM says were released from S21 during the DK period. And in addition, uh, it indicates which persons are reported to be alive, people who is, whose status is uncertain, and people who died after 1979. Um, and relating to this document, President, Le the Defence Council, uh, please hold on, and Maître the Président International Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you have the floor. Yeah, yes, Mr. President, I, I can't find any, any such document, E3-7326, in the system, so I don't know whether it has a original case Le file number, that may be the issue. Um, I, even though we're... We were instructed to present documents relating to Tramcock. I, I don't want to object at that point at this stage because I'd like to see what's in this document. Um, because the reason I'd like to see the document is um, the prisoners that were found weren't released. They were transferred to Presar. <laughs> they weren't. These people weren't released from S21. That's, so I want to see the evidence that he's cited. Um, President Chen, uh, Mr. you have the floor. Mr. Kopé, can you please explain to us what the relevance is of this document in view of the segment that we are involved with today, that is to say, Tramcock District and possibly Krang Tachan Prison? I must confess that S21 does not seem to be part of this segment, unless I am mistaken. Um, correct, but um, S21 Maître has been exact, referred to already um, in this segment. Uh, but ce the, segment. The, the relevance of this document is to Pour show vous, that um, also from S21, uh, a substantial number of prisoners were released, um, undermining uh, the views of the prosecution and the view laid down in the closing order that nobody entered Crown uh, uh, was released. So, um, when we are making this comparison, I think that is also relevant for a view that we might have on um, the release of prisoners in Krang Tachan. Mr. Prosecutor, the document is E307. E slash uh, 5.2.10 and the document that I'm presenting Mr. Um, uh, Mr. President, Judge Lavergne is Laverne, also in relation to E3 slash 3.9992 which is a article from the Cambodia Daily uh, from Thursday 28 Jeudi August 2008, 20 août 2008 English ERN 005 
four eight two five three until four Khmer zero zero eight one four eight seven one to seven three and French zero zero eight three six 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 eight six till nine one and consistent with the document that I have. Si je comprends bien, alors même que nous n'avons pas examiné les faits concernant S21 et que nous n'avons pas discuté de ce problème de savoir si les prisonniers avaient pu être libérés de S21, vous utilisez un article où il est fait mention de possible libération de prisonniers de S21 pour éventuellement établir que à Krengtanshan, des prisonniers auraient aussi pu être libérés C'est ça la logique du raisonnement J'avoue avoir du mal à suivre véritablement. Um, this article that I was quoting from the Cambodia Daily is from August 2008. I believe it's an article Cambodia before Daily, the judgment of this trial chamber in the case of Duik. And it, um, it, it says basically that um, 177 prisoners were released from S21, uh, which is um, something that this trial chamber hasn't included in its judgment and relates to the fact that in general people were released from security centers, hence also from Kankachan, uh, a substantial number of people were released. That is our, uh, our position. And I think by just introducing these two uh, documents, we should be able to um, Nous pourrions put our presentation in the context of remettre cette uh, présentation the context dans being son prisoners were in fact released from security centers. Que des personnes ont été libérées des centres de sécurité. Um, first, Mr. President, I still can't find the first document. I don't know whether he's reading it too quickly, but I cannot find the first document, the article I'm familiar with. I think it is premature to get into this at this point. I can tell you that we followed up, we put evidence uh, that will, we will, will um, obviously deal with in the S21 phase. Uh, we followed up on this. These, these prisoners 21. were not released. They were sent to Kresar. Uh, many of them were then later sent back to S21 and killed. The, the idea that, that this many prisoners were released. But we should be dealing with this at the S21 phase right now. I'd be happy to ah, repeat the words of the prosecution when he was, you know, he, he, he was questioning, I think, Richard Dutman, confronting him with, with um, prisoner list. That's what the prosecution is doing all the time. And I think putting Grang Tachan in the context of S21 uh, is not something that goes um, out of the segment of this trial. Council, you're obviously making a closing style argument, but having said that, a cl sorry, closing speeches style argument, having said that, you, s you appear to say these were your two questions in this context, is that correct or are you going to spend more time on this? No, that's it. Only those two, uh, two documents indicating that uh, many prisoners, according to a recent confirmation, by the way, in the Guardian of uh, by Yves Chang, uh, are, were in fact released. Um, having said that, Mr. President, I'm uh, moving now to uh, another topic, and that is um, unreliable documents, or unreliable Kang Tachan documents of particularly limited probative value. Now, having uh, highlighted several categories of documents which we believe are uh, relevant to establishing events at Kang Tachan, I would like now to turn instead to uh, highlight a number of documents which, by contrast, uh, are only of particularly limited probability value because they are possibly at least partial uh, forgeries. Um, first, um, forgeries possibly made after 79. I will first discuss a pair of documents, uh, documents relied on in the closing order at paragraphs uh, 514, 500, and uh, 1385 as the basis for the investigating judge's suggestion that at least, uh, at least uh, 15,000 people were executed at Grand Tachan. And that document is um, E3-2107. Uh, it's a notebook uh, from Grand Tachan containing 91 entries. English ERN 00290, 205, 
Khmer 00068049 and French 00655725. 655 725. Now at ERN 00290205, there is an annotation from the uh, ECC Khmer to English translator concerning a scribbled note on that uh, page. And the translator says, and I quote, separate page, scribbled note, not in the same handwriting as the rest of the document, end of quote. And an examination of the Khmer original confirms that indeed the hand, this handwriting appears to be quite different. The scribbled note itself states that up until now, up until today, we have smashed 15,000 enemies. And, the quote, and is the note that the investigating judges rely upon, as I said, in the closing order. Indeed, the scribbled text itself is written in two different handwritings. Um, the first four lines are written by one handwriting, and the last two lines are written by a different handwriting. Um, in addition, of all the 19 entries in the notebook, the scribbled note is clearly out of context. The rest of the notebook records individual confessions, uh, unlike this high-level statistical remarks. Uh, this comment is the only one with an address C, and the sentence, and I quote, may the party be informed of this, um, a clear indication where it was written, and, and the signature making it completely out of place among the other entries in the notebook. Um, I note that the credibility of this scribbled note has been discussed with several witnesses during the hearings. Um, I will not go into this argument that I have presented here, although it's very brief. Um, but I would like to conclude with, um, the state, with, with, with our conclusion that we are absolutely convinced that this document is a post-1979 uh, forgery designed uh, to inflate the Khrang Khachan death toll as much as possible. Indeed, the document's cover page indicates that it is entitled uh, Fifth Confession, uh, Contemptible Traitors, Pol Pot and Inksuri, which is uh, blatantly a notation added after the DK period. Mm. <coughs> President, the International Deputy Co-Prosecutor, do you have the floor? President, co -procureur, vous avez la parole. This is clearly argument, but that, that's not actually the reason I'm standing up. Um, he's talking about two different documents, the, the notebook in which this uh, 15,000 note appears, and I certainly agree with them. This is this is a different document than the notebook. Um, the fact it's in two handwritings, he's using that as to say it's a forgery. If he wants to make a request to the court, fine. The document that has the uh, handwriting um, on the cover, uh, Fifth Confession, Pol Pot and Ingsuri, is a different notebook. So he's uh, mis misstating the documents he's presenting here. Uh, and that, that, that I do object to. If he wants to make some arguments to explain why he's presenting these, that's fine. I, I agree that these are two different uh, documents, but I'm making the point that um, this other document, which says um, the in Seri Pol Pot um, traitors, uh, is clearly a post-79 term. This meaning that this, these notebooks have been in the hands of the authorities after 79. So I'm making the connection with this um, 15,000 uh, scribbled note to the other um, uh, annotation, clearly dating post-79. Uh, so I agree with the prosecution, these are in fact two documents. Um, document E3-4145, um, Mr. President, this document appears to be a compilation of different prisoner lists from Krang Tachan, English ERN uh, 0076284444, and ERN ending in 37, Khmer 00068736, and French 00761100, and ERN ending in 093. 0,93.
another page with English IRN uh, 007 62844 uh, is a messy handwritten page with containing corrections that lists uh, Yuk Sen as one of the prisoners detained for years pending the party's decision and that Sai Sen confirms was a reference to him. The same page also names Krang Te Chan as M105 and is the only document in the so-called uh, Trumcock District Records Collection to do so. It also lists Hun Kim Seng and Mia Sarat as other prisoners but records uh, their biography details completely incorrectly in contrast with other so-called district records. And by contrast, the page with English IRN 00762 um, A37 in the same compilation document appears at least from a visual and basic content perspective to be a real document, being typewritten, being written on an apparent template and referring to prisoner information. Uh, the accuracy of which has been confirmed by other witnesses. So we also hold that this is a forgery, um, um, a forged document. We will obviously uh, come back to that at another stage in this uh, segment. Uh, Mr. President, these documents, and I will conclude my remarks um, maybe before the break, uh, these documents, if forgeries, seems, seem likely to have been made after 1979 as a means of constructing the narrative of what occurred at Trang Te Chan. There are also other documents, the authorship of which has been attributed to people who had testified during this trial segment, but which those people denied were written by them. These are uh, possible DK-era for forgeries, and uh, looking at the clock, I think I should uh, pause here. President, the litco lawyer for civil parties, you have the floor. Merci, Monsieur le Président, pour le procès verbal, puisque mon, you, mon, mon objection est tardive, mais il est clair qu'on est en en présence typique d'une submission. Notre confrère plaide depuis 15 minutes maintenant. Nous sommes loin de la présentation des documents. Il est impossible de lire les IRN en même temps que notre confrère les dit. On a dépassé de loin l'exercice que nous avons tous respecté. Donc j'espère que la Chambre nous donnera la même latitude quand nous présenterons nos observations jeudi, parce qu'il est clair que depuis le début, notre confrère plaide. Documents. It is clear that our learned friend is pleading. President, that is uh, true. President, c'est exact. Since the uh, chamber scheduled the key document presentation, and of course they have their own discretion to present whatever documents they seemed are key doc documents, and we set aside a day for the observations by the other parties, and that will be held on Thursday, the 30th of April 2015. And if you are to object the presentation by the other party, then there is no need to have another day for the presentation of your views and objections to those key document presentations. Therefore, please be patient, take note, and then you can request to be on your feet when the time comes for your observation. And that will be the right time for you to express your objections to the documents that you deemed are not appropriate. President, the time is convenient for a short break. We we'll take a break now and return at 10.30. The court is now in recess.